Hi, uh, good evening. Uh, today I, will, I want to tell you a few things about uh, how to use SC11 and SC16 uh, for our regular uses of to get the data from the tables and when you want to test some scenarios like uh, if you want to write a function specification we should know which table contains what kind of fields and how the output will come. There are some few things I want to explain today. Go to SC SAP screen. Okay. The first I want to go to the transaction code SC11. Okay. For example, we are going to see the table. Uh, I will select the table NERC, which is um, material master plant data. Once you give that one, uh, go to the display. Uh, as soon as you go to the display, we can see that uh, table, what kind of table it is, the transparent table and the table description, plant data for the material. Okay. Here you can see uh, what are the fields available under the table. All those things we can see here are uh, the table and the respective field name. Okay. From here we can directly go to SS16 screen. Uh, here if you, you can observe that uh, blue icon. Okay. Uh, uh, once you click that blue icon, system will take you to SC16 screen. You can see certain fields are only visible as an input screen. Okay, and uh, we have seen many fields, but there are certain fields. How does it happen? And um, what kind of fields we can add into that uh, input? Okay, if you want to learn that concept, you just go to settings. Okay, uh, settings and uh, click on fields for selection. See here, what are the fields you see you have selected, those fields will come under the selection parameter. Means what are the selection fields if you want, you have to activate it. Uh, for example, I want to uh, keep MRP type also as an input. Just I have selected MRP type and click on continue. See now MRP type field also will come DISMM. Okay. Currently it is not available. The DISMM also will come because I have activated as an input selection. See now you can observe that DISMM is also has come as an input field. Uh, in that way we can get the uh, what are the input fields you want to add into the table. And here you can see that you are able to see the field name. But you, you might not know what is LVORM. Okay. And if you want to see for your convenience, uh, if you want to see the field description, then go to settings and uh, click on user parameters. Okay, here you can see that field name or field label. Now we are in the field name because system is giving MAT, NR, WR, case, all are field names. Now select field label and click on continue. See now we are getting the field label. It's the field description you can see here. Field uh, technical name or field name or field label in user parameters we can decide like which one which one we want field name or field label now i want i will pass any material okay and uh, plants plant i will get the output see i got uh, different fields of output and all here the material plant the same logic if you go to settings and user parameters the field label you want or field name you want see now it is all field labels yeah, the same logic will be applicable here. Now it has changed it to field name. The same thing. And uh, see here if you go to the settings and user parameters, the same way we can get the what are the input fields and output fields and all. And if you want to go to the right hand side, you can use this option. If you see this icon, if you just click on this uh, arrow mark, you can go to the right hand side to see the values of that other fields and if you want to see at a way in an easy way just select that respective line and click on this display icon see once you click this uh, display icon you can get the all the data here if you're not comfortable with the field name then you can go to settings and user parameters change to field level so this is uh, how we can get the data and all uh, these tables and uh, what fields are available and how the data is coming or uh, these all features we can practice with this and uh, this uh, input and uh, how many numbers of it you need that we can uh, segregate like uh, how much data you need okay more than 250 error we can control with these details also this is the way how we can uh, 
practice like uh, when you want to see that the data of the respective table and also if you want to know the uh, logic which field is available for example you want to know in material master uh, in which we, uh, table uh, carry that purchasing group okay you can get this merc will carry the purchasing group by seeing that we can mrp type will be saved in merc table you daily if you have a practice of go to s11 and take some two tables and see have a look on that you may not remember all the fields which are available for that table at least if you have a look like uh, okay when sometimes if you get an idea yeah it might be in merc or mrt such kind of some uh, assumption we can go and we can verify and we can check it uh, in that way we can practice the table and fields not may not be all the tables we have important uh, tables and fields that we can uh, go through and uh, practice for that session and i hope it will be uh, this session is helpful for you to just uh, have prepared uh, maybe some people are may might have this uh, kind of uh, small doubts okay i hope it is cleared with this and uh, thanks for your time subscribe to my youtube channel have a good evening